So welcome along everyone to this morning's workshop. Uh, this one's presented by the federal government under the auspices of the Be Connected program. So we'll be looking at Be Connected, uh, their online music lesson today. We'll talk about a couple of services, Spotify, TuneIn Radio, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Deezer. And then we'll even look at some of the hardware options, like some of the headphones you can get um, and uh, speakers you can use as well to listen to your radio because, um, you know, it's nice to have music, but we want to have things to listen to it with, you know, which is exactly what we need here. Uh, so let's have a look at a few things. First of all, I'd like to take you through a couple of the services uh, that are around, but we need to start off first of all with the Be Connected website itself. So Be Connected, as I was saying, is uh, produced and put together by the federal government. Good on them. It's nice they're doing something nice for us, which is great. So here comes the Be Connected website now. You should be able to see on your screen uh, the Be Connected website. I'll just make it full screen there. Here we go. <clears throat> so it's Get Tuned In Online Music. Now, as we go through today's workshop, you can feel free to put uh, messages in the chat. Alternatively, when we do come to take questions, at the bottom of your Zoom window, you may have an option uh, for a smiley face. Uh, you can tap the smiley face, that's your reactions, and you can use the option uh, to be able to come along and wave your hand as well to uh, put your hand up to to ask a question if you like. Uh, also, I will come back to you, as I've said, after each section, I'll unmute and we'll go through, through some questions as well. And we're gonna be demoing each of these services, talking about a couple of others, see how we go for time today. So get tuned in, online music. Well, there's so much out there actually with online music. So, um, what do we got? The internet covers a huge variety of music and talk radio. Oh yes, there's lots of radio. And it's free and online, a lot of it. Of course, you're gonna be paying for some services, but there is a lot of free music that's available to you as well. So you can listen to topical podcasts, radio programs and things like that. We'll be doing podcasting specifically next week as a podcast workshop. So I'm going to take you through some various podcasts, uh, different ways you can listen to podcasts and more as well next week there. So remembering this is part of the Be Connected website. So for those of you who've never been to Be Connected, just remember you can go to beconnected.esafety.gov.au that's beconnected.esafety.gov.au. You can jump onto the topic library, have a look at these lessons. I really would suggest though, um, that you do consider using the sign in and sign up options. So you can sign into your own personal Be Connected account if you've created one. And with your own Be Connected account, you've got access to quizzes and ways to actually manage uh, what you're learning. If you've never been on to Be Connected before or you've never joined up, I really strongly recommend that you do. These workshops are funded by uh, Be Connected. So in order for us to be able to present them to you, we do need you to sign up so they, the government knows that we're getting the numbers. So, if, so essentially you can click on create new account and then just fill in the form here. Make your support center ready, tech, go. There we go. There we are with Ready Tech Go as the support center. It's very simple. First name, last name, email address, create a password, and then you can sign up for free and away you go into your lessons. So let's come back and have a look at the couple of the lessons we're doing today. So coming into the activity. So David knows that there's a great way of listening to music. Sarah's um, brother knows about it as well. There's so many great music uh, you can get on the internet. There's so much great music. David loves his music. He's always listening to songs and he's downloading them online, which is great. He's probably paying for these songs or he's got a service and such as a streaming service. There's a huge amount of music available online and lots of ways you can access it. You can listen to songs by streaming them and it means it plays them online and it doesn't actually download it to your device. As I've said previously in other workshops, think of streaming like the water in a river that it flows past you, you see it as it goes past and then it disappears off into the distance. Music streaming is very much like that. The audio comes down through to the internet, it passes in through your ears, you listen to it, and it's then removed from your device and, and uh, continues through the internet. So, 
As long as you're connected to the internet, yes, you can stream music and listen directly to it from the site. And there's a few sites for this. Many people will know Spotify already, as you can see. Spotify Tidal uh, Shazam was no longer with us. Uh, as such, Apple now owns Shazam and Shazam is built into uh, Apple devices these days. You can actually say to your iPhone, tell me what song this is. And as a song plays, your iPhone will tell you what song it is. Uh, the iTunes Store, Apple Music, there's quite a few of these. Google has their own Google Play Music. Um, that's native to Android devices. So if you've got a, a, a Google phone, an Android phone, uh, one of those devices, Google Play comes on your Android phone or your Android tablet. Otherwise, you can download the app. Um, much like any other service, though, uh, they do want you to pay for access. They'll give you the first month free, and then after that, you're paying $11.99 a month uh, to be able to listen to music, much the same as Apple Music does as well. So. Many of these streaming services, they do offer free sites. They offer, some of them offer you a free option, but you're only getting, uh, you know, free music uh, either for 30 days or you may not find that you can't access them over your mobile phone. It really just depends on some of the service that you're checking out. So be aware of that. You can use monthly paid options for a lot of these sites as well. That essentially opens you up to the a la carte option where you can pull up absolutely anything, makes uh, playlists. Some of them will even let you download some music to your devices as well, uh, particularly if you're using speakers such as Sonos speakers and things like that. Um, so, you know, there's lots of options here, but some of them will make you pay, of course. Um, iTunes and Amazon are the big players in a lot of that as well, particularly for things like audiobooks and buying music. So remember that you will have to pay something. Downloading music illegally, uh, legally can be cheaper than actually buying CDs. This is one of the things that's really interesting. Um, you know, a CD might cost you $24.99 at the shops, but you might actually be able to get it for about $12 on a streaming service. Uh, and depends on the streaming service, because sometimes you'll get a better deal for an album than just buying individual songs off the album. So sometimes you will get a better deal on a streaming service. So, oh yes, I love this one. This is a good little Lee safety tip. So some services offer a way of being able to listen to music online for free that include websites. But if a site suggests that you can download as much music as you want for free, then it's probably illegal. So do be careful. You know, pirate websites particularly do this. Uh, you know, things like Pirate Bay and other, you know, sites like that. Uh, you know, you might find, you put into Google free streaming music, um, you know, th and uh, you find that you stumble on, on, on a website. It's probably though one of those ones that the minute you go to listen to a song, it's loading in a virus or something into your background of your device. So you're much better off using legitimate services. Um, the illegal ones tend to have lots of advertising all over them as well. And lots of things like anime advertising and adult advertising, you'll know that they're really dodgy because the more advertising they stuff onto the web page uh, and the more of it that's sort of adult and a, and a little bit you know, unseemly, uh, you'll tend to find that's where you stumbled upon a music the site that's probably sending music to you illegally. So there's lots of options for radio. We covered a little bit about radio with the ABC radio app, uh, the ABC, I should say the ABC listen app. Um, but there's lots of different options for listening to radio on your computer. Uh, the ABC sites there. I love TuneIn Radio and we're going to look at TuneIn Radio today as well. Pretty amazing little app and website as well, which lets you listen to uh, radio stations from all around the world. So with TuneIn, you can search your station that you like, the type of music you're looking for, lots of different options there for uh, listening to radio, which is great because you might actually go, well, <clears throat> I like Brazilian samba. 
and I can't find much Brazilian samba on Australian radio stations, maybe apart from, say, community stations. So this is a great option then to go, oh, well, I could come on to TuneIn Radio and type in Brazilian samba or samba Brazil, and I'm most likely going to find a site. So remind me of that later on, everyone, when we do TuneIn Radio, and we'll see if we can find some Brazilian samba. So even sport, oh, yes, here's the NRL. Well, it's not really national, it's not really rugby, and it's not particularly live at the moment, is it? But, oh, well, it will be back at some point in the future. Um, and when it does come back, your sports web webcasts will all come back. Um, it's a weird, strange time we live in at the moment where the only place in the world that's got sport is, uh, I think, of Bulgaria or somewhere in the middle of uh, Belarus. Belarus um, has sport, uh, and that's about it. No one else in the world really does. Uh, so there's not much happening on sport, but you know what? In the future, when sport does return, you will be able to listen to lots of radio sports casts, and maybe there's lots of podcasts or shows about other sports matches you might have heard of, or even replays of old classic footy matches too. So another way to listen to radio is podcasts. We'll cover podcasts more next week in our dedicated podcast episode. We've talked about podcasts a few times. They're essentially a downloadable version of a radio program, letting you listen back to that show later on. Some of them are done as radio shows. Some of them are done as talk shows. Some are done as interview shows. Some are scientific. Some are factual. Some are gossip. There's podcasts for practically everything out there under the sun. Um, you name a subject, there's probably a podcast for it. So, yeah, here we go. It's the weekend and David's gone to visit Gran. Hello, Gran. And he's gone to visit her with the family. He wants to help Gran listen to music that she loves from the 60s. Fantastic. Some really good music in the 60s. So what's he going to do is he's got her to tune to a sound of the 60s station. It's probably through TuneIn Radio or another online radio service. A lot of your radio stations do offer internet streaming as well. So if there's a particular radio station you listen to regularly, do feel free to actually pop their name into Google with the word streaming or online after the name, and you may find a link to their actual online streaming service. So, you know, if perhaps you're away from home and you can't listen to them on the actual radio itself, you might be able to stream them over the internet where you are and, and stay in touch with uh, what it's like at home or the music you like. So yeah, Grand's delighted. She had no idea there was an online radio station just for her favorite songs. Okay, so Spotify is an app. You can go to spotify.com uh, to sign in or log in. But I'm going to show you the Spotify app this morning. And I'm going to show you that via the iPad. With Spotify here, what you've got is a whole world of music which is opened up to you. Spotify lets you stream as much music as you like on a free service, but every half an hour you will have to listen to uh, roughly, I think, 30 seconds to two minutes of ads. Uh, that's just the way it goes uh, with the free services. Essentially, if you want to listen to the free stuff, you've got to have advertising. Otherwise, you would take up one of the premium services uh, with Spotify and uh, pay their monthly fee, uh, which is what they often do as well. So there's a few things that Spotify do with that. So as you can see on my screen here, uh, that with Spotify, I've got a number of different uh, areas I can look at for music. You can see that there's a lot of music uh, being displayed uh, on the screen. Uh, lots of different covers for albums, different artists uh, being shown there as well. Even a song that looks to be trying to be played uh, at any one time. Looks like it was trying to listen to Tell It To My Heart by Taylor Day. Uh, so that's, you know, there we are. There's a bit of Kenny Rogers in there. Sadly, uh, Kenny's no longer with us. Uh, but, you know, these things happen, unfortunately. But uh, so uh, let's have a look at Spotify. So top left corner with Spotify is your home. There's a green dash on the left-hand side next to that saying that we're at the home page. So it's showing us everything we've been looking at Spotify recently. So it knows I've looked at Taylor Dane. It knows I've recently looked at the Sing Through the Decade. 
decades. It knows I've had a laugh with Anna Russell and uh, then caught up with some Mary Ann Faithful. And then it saw me having my Saturday night little party playlist, some music with Bert Bacharach as well. Now, if you notice here that the artists themselves are in circles, the actual songs or playlists that you make are in squares. So one great way to visually get yourself around Spotify is that if you see a circle with a picture in it, you know it's the artist and not necessarily a playlist of their songs. So for example here, if I come over and I click on Taylor Dane, the circle for Taylor Dane here, and she's got a pink slash across her eye here with uh, the black and white photo. If I give that a click, what that will do, if I tap that, it takes me in to Taylor Dane. And of course, they want to sell me premium Spotify, don't they? Because they want to sell you it at any single time. At this point in time, I'm going to say, no, thank you. Much like the same as I'd say to that outfit that he's wearing. That's a little bit too orange for me. No, thank you to the premium. No, thank you to the orange. So we're going to go, no, thank you to that. But yes, please, to Taylor Dane. So you can see now that we've skipped past that little ad. It's given me a list here of Taylor Dane. She has 1,395,391 monthly listeners. That's pretty good. 1.3 million people on Spotify just listening to her music every month. That'd be great for your ego, wouldn't it? That'd make you feel pretty good. So there we are. You can see that below that it's got a follow button. That basically means that as more music is added to Taylor Dane, you'll get a notification to let you know that there's a new playlist, a new album, a new single that she may have uh, put together. Next to that on the right hand side of that word follow is three dots. Now for those of you who have any of our Ready Tech Go bookmarks, the three dots are a universal symbol for the word menu. So it means there's a menu of some kind. So when I tap those three dots again, just next to the word follow, I get the option here to uh, see what I can do with this menu. I could follow Taylor Dane. I could choose not to play this artist. It could be a case of, oh my goodness, I cannot stand Taylor Dane. Well, yes, you can actually choose to not show her at all, which in itself is interesting. Um, you could share her on Spotify. So you could use an option there to share uh, Taylor Dane out via your sharing option. So I tap share and I could send to someone, hey, here's a little message link to Spotify with a whole lot of Taylor Dane, perhaps. Uh, I could link it on Twitter, I could copy it, or I could even use one of the more options and then send it out as an airdrop or all sorts of different things. My Lord, lots of options there for sharing. So I can share things too with Taylor Dane. So that three dots is a menu. It also has their go to radio. With Spotify, you can actually have an online radio station just made up of music of that artist or artists that are very similar to them as well. So for example, if I went to go to radio here, and now takes me to Taylor Dane Radio with Culture Club, Richard Marks, Pebbles and more. So what is it? It's basically artists from the 80s uh, era, essentially. Artists that Spotify think are very much like Taylor Dane as well. So it starts off with Taylor Dane's Can't Get Enough of Your Love and it goes into Karma Chameleon. And essentially what it does, it will play these songs through as a continuous playlist. It'll just keep playing these songs over and over until you get to half an hour and then you'll get an ad, uh, an ad you'll have to listen through and then it'll go back to the music. So, you know, you'll get to about 30 minutes in and you've just listened to Rick Astley's Never Gonna Give You Up. 
and then you have to give up Spotify for 30 seconds because you've got an ad to listen to. And then you come back and you realize Spotify is for your eyes only because Sheena Easton's playing as well. So you've got that music then continues on. So if I wanted to start that, all I have to do is tap the green circle with the triangle on the right hand side here. This is your play button. If I give that a play, the next 30 minutes are ad free, thanks to the following sponsor. Oh, well. Very nice. Bit of Vanessa Williams to start us off there. So essentially, it's going to play music that is like that particular artist. Okay. So that's a playlist for an artist. Now I can come down to any one of these songs and I can tap, say, Belinda Carlisle. There we go. And that comes Belinda Carlisle. Now, notice how it's fairly responsive as well. It's fairly fast. That's because I've probably got a good internet connection at home. It should also do this fairly well over mobile as well. Music streaming, because you're not sending photos or images or videos, it's a lot faster than standard audio streaming. So we can come down and we could keep going through these songs and tapping the ones we want. We can have... There we go, a bit of banana rama. So you can go through that list, scroll up and down with your finger, just moving it up and down, and you can see those songs and, and tap them. But you notice there's the three dots on the right-hand side. Every song's got three dots on the right-hand side of it. Now, I wonder why that is. Let's find out. So let's have a look. We've got dear old Rick Astley. If we give him a tap, he's three dots on the right-hand side of Never Gonna Give You Up. So again, it's very much similar to what we had earlier with Taylor. We can like, we can, there we go. So I've added it to the songs I like. I can add it into a playlist. I can pop it into a queue. So a, a, a song that's coming up to be played, share it out, go to a Rick Astley radio station. Oh my, I wonder what that's going to be like. Excuse me. Uh, view the album uh, that it came from as well. So, you know, that's going to be a, a real stock ache and a Waterman 80s flashback. View more about uh, Rick Astley, the artist. If there was filth in it, you know, if there were dirty lyrics, well, I could, exp you know, I could report uh, the explicit content if I wanted to. Not that I'd really do that to Rick. I think he's a little wholesome. I don't think he's ever, you know, never so much used a naughty word in his life, probably. Uh, so all of those options there. But you know what? I'm going to go into the option of a playlist. I want to add, never going to give you up to a playlist. So I'm going to tap add to playlist. Now what it does, it instantly says, well, guess what? Because you're using the app, I already know that you've created some playlists in the past here. So with those playlists, it can see the ones I've got. And I've got fun music, classical music, Saturday night, deep and mean, meaningful. Well, never going to give you up is a good old classic 80s dance banger. So I'm going to pop it into my Saturday night just by tapping Saturday night. All I did there was tap Saturday night and it's now put it in the Saturday night playlist. We'll come back to playlist in a little while so you can actually see that playlist. So left hand side of the screen, let's come back over to the left hand side of the screen. I'm going to go to the word search in the top left corner. Now, oh, hello. You can see that Spotify is staying on top of the current situation because they've got an at home playlist and a COVID-19 COVID guide. That's a bit of bad design, a COVID-19. Deary me, as a graphic designer, I'm having a little bit of a fit at that one. That should be, might be a smaller text or something. The COVID-19 guide, what have they got? Help present the spread, daily news podcasts. So these are the podcasts you can listen to through through Spotify as well. So we've got the Squids podcast from the newsroom. Oh dear, that's news.com.au, okay. The Corona podcast, uh, RNZ, I think... That's Radio New Zealand. Ah, for our Kiwi friends, fantastic. Uh, the Daily, 
ABC, of course, their Corona podcast, the Corona cast. Please explain uh, by the age. How do we say that again? Please explain. Yes, that's the one we want. Uh, so that's the uh, explanations about what's going on with uh, pod- with uh, coronavirus. So you know what, you can find it, but when you've had enough coronavirus, what can you do? You can think about some calming meditations and maybe pick up a really wonderful calming meditation podcast. Uh, so there's some good ones there, Mindful in Minutes, The Mindful Kind, The Daily Meditation Podcast. If we give it a tap, what do we get here? So it's now loading up this podcast. A couple of dots. There we go. So be happy, healthy, more at peace and sleep better as you're greeted with a new guided meditation technique every morning. Oh, could be interesting. So this is a little breathe. uh, This is a little podcast. Lots of episodes here. I can scroll down through them and I could come into relieve tension breathing technique. Breathing techniques are amazing ways to help you uh, relieve the tension. If you've got a smart watch, you'll find that some smart watches have breathing apps on them. My Apple watch has a breathe app on this. I could go into this little podcast just by tapping the play button. Welcome to episode 2000 of the Daily Meditation Podcast. I'm Mary Wow, doesn't she sound relaxed? I want to know what she's doing to sound that relaxed. Goodness me. Wow, that's fantastic. So that was that little podcast right there. So that was the uh, Daily Meditation Podcast. If you like your meditation, guys, write that one down, the Daily Meditation Podcast. She really did sound pretty relaxed, didn't she? That's amazing. I might have to try that for myself before I do the next podcast or the next uh, uh, workshop that I do. I could be a whole lot more relaxed. Now, moving on from the podcast, let's come back into our search option on the top left corner. When I tap search, what I can do is I can have a look at these different options I can search for, or I can type an artist, a name, or a podcast that I'm looking for. I'm a big Pet Shop Boys fan, so I'm going to pop in Pet Shop Boys. There we go. Tap the return. What do I get? So I've got, this is the Pet Shop Boys uh, as the playlist, the Pet Shop Boys Radio, 12-inch classics, all out 80s as playlists. I've got a circle there for Pet Shop Boys as the artist, and then I've got a whole lot of options for seeing their albums and singles. If I tap Pet Shop Boys, the artist, it goes into just a random uh, list of their songs. There we go. There's uh, the annually playlist. Uh, which has come up, that's their, uh, they actually have a book they put out every year instead of a newsletter. They put out a little hardcover book every year that fans buy and it comes with a CD with exclusive songs on it. So a whole lot of music there. I can tap the album Hotspot. There we are. This is their latest album. I can come down and tap one of the songs. Uh, We could go Will of the Wisp. And then it should start playing it. Ah, there we go. And we'll stop that before it gets a little bit doof doof. So you can go in and search by the artists that you like and find their albums. And you can also see that there's a whole lot of playlists that are related to them. You know, if I tapped the all out 80s, what do I get? Oh, hello. A bit of Bruce, a bit of Phil, a bit of Elton. Uh, here, straight off, Bruce, Phil and Elton, TT's there, Queen, Kenny Rogers, Billy Joel. Oh, wow. I feel like I'm going back through my youth, my, my childhood when I was a little kid. All of this 80s music there. So again, you can search out all of these playlists. You can search out the artists just by tapping search. If I come to your library, I can also see and hear the playlist that I've got. The artists that I might follow, and I'm not following anyone at the moment, albums that I like will appear there as well. But right now, I've just got some playlists uh, in there. And finally, if I tap premium, it takes me into the premium option. 60 days of premium for free, limited time only. So with free, I get ad breaks. With the premium, I don't get any ads. 
okay. Uh, with it, the free option, music is shuffled. Uh, premium, I can play songs in any way or shape or form that I like. Um, now, you've got all these different options here. So it's one of those things that be aware that any of these streaming services that are free have a paid option and they would prefer you to take that paid option. So they do put these little barriers in your way, such as such as having ad breaks, songs having playing, being played in shuffle and so on. So, you know, they're those little ways that they're trying to make it a little harder for you, okay? Any questions on Spotify? Thank you, Matthew. Um, we've downloaded quite a lot of artists from Spotify. We yeah. pay for it. Yeah. Um, when we go away, when we're allowed to again, um, are they saved on, on my phone or... So are they saved on your phone or on their Spotify website? Is that right? Yes. Okay, so um, if you've downloaded songs to your device and you've got a Spotify account, those devices should, should stay. Those songs should stay on your device. Okay. They're also linked to your Spotify account as well because you've paid for the premium. So it's essentially creating a link between the two. So any Spotify paid songs, they should be staying on your device. So when you go away, you should be right. So therefore, if we stop the subscription, Matthew, could we yes. still listen to what we've paid for? Probably not. No, this is the thing. Downloads, the downloaded songs usually are only available while you have that subscription. Once the subscription ends, often the downloaded songs um, disappear. This is where you get the difference between streaming services and music online music stores where you buy individual songs. Um, so what you'll find with Spotify is that you can download with the premium all those songs to your device, but the minute your subscription ends, the songs might disappear. Whereas if you went to Google Play or Apple Play um, or uh, Apple Music or maybe JB Hi-Fi's online and you bought the digital copy of the song for, say, $2 or whatever it is, then that song's yours forever. You essentially own an electronic license to own the song. Whereas with Spotify, you technically own the song for as long as you're subscribed because you're paying for the service, not the actual individual songs. Thank you. And if you, if you, you know, some people can search for a song by holding the phone up or something and it recognises the song. Yeah. Now, Monica is nodding because that's using Shazam. So that's the Shazam app. Uh, it's now built into iPhones. So if you've got an iPhone, you can have a song playing and you can say, hey, Siri, what's this song? Okay. And she'll listen to it. Otherwise, you can download the Shazam app and when you uh, run the Shazam app, you can have it running while a song's playing and Shazam will tell you what that song is. Okay. It essentially will analyze the audio of that song and they then go looking to match it up essentially uh, all around to be able to find that song, which is a great way to find songs that are, you think, where did that song come from? I heard that. Yeah. Who wrote that? You know, get your Shazam out, you hear it. Oh, that's by... Bert Bacharach for some reason. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Hi, Matt. Can Hello. more than one person sign up to Spotify with the same email address? Not that I'm aware of, no. Unique email address, mm -hmm. unique account, mm -hmm. unless I think you're taking up like a family account. If you take up the family account, like Alan and Liz, I can see that we, we're putting to each other. That's when you're using a family account. Um, otherwise, you've got an individual account, a student account, and a family account. Tune in radio. Yes. I'm a big fan of tune in radio. I really am. I think tune in radio is just a really cool little service. Um, you know, I love this idea that I can listen to radio stations uh, from all around the world. Um, it's just incredible. So they've got a website and they've got an app as well. TuneIn.com is the website. TuneIn, T-U-N-E-I-N.com. So TuneIn.com. Uh, or they have an app as well. Now, I really love the app too. So I'm going to pull up the app for you and I'll show you off the app. 
Tune in radio. <laughs> now, so it's a really good one is tune in radio. So we're going to switch over to my iPad now. And also, it's good that you see this part too, because tune in like all of these other services has a free option, a free option and a paid option. And you know me, my Scottish bone says, hey, I love a freebie. And so I've tapped tune in on my iPad. And what it's done is it's actually automatically popped up and decided to show me the option to try the premium. Well, guess what, everyone? In the top corner on the screen, top right corner, there's an X. I don't want to pay for TuneIn for the moment. I'm going to stay with the free version. So I'm going to tap the X. That now loads the free version of TuneIn. Now, you can see here that there's a whole lot of different radio stations I've listened to recently. Champagne FM from France, Flower Power Radio, for those of us who love our 60s, uh, One Diggy Live, BBC Radio Scotland, Bossa Nova Brazil. Now, I, did, I mentioned something about Brazilian samba earlier, didn't I? Yes, Brazilian samba music. So there's a Brazilian radio station, Catra FM, NBC Radio, Pretoria. Um, that sounds like he's from South Africa, permits. Hot glow here in Afrikaans. So, yes, exclu ex please excuse my terrible Afrikaans <laughs> pronunciations. But that's, uh, tune in. that's uh, Pretoria Radio South Africa. As I scroll down, it already knows that I'm in Melbourne. So it's found 3AW. Hello, 3AW. We love 3AW only because um, they do good stuff. And, you know, of course, I was on there on Saturday nights every now and again with Dr. Sally Coburn. Hello, Sally. Uh, so Gold, Radio Melbourne with the ABC, Triple M, Nova 100, Fox. I can scroll down more and I can choose to listen to music, sports, news and podcasts. You can see that because we're on the free version, we've got an ad. So great noodles for less. Well, that's nice. Um, I'm not worried about the noodles. I want a noodle to the radio. That's what I want to do. So I can come down and even see podcasts here. Again, more ways to listen to podcasts too. Local radio stations. Now I can go and search up. At the bottom of the screen, I've got home, favorites, browse, search, and then the headphones tell me that I've got a song playing. There's a little play button on the right hand side. Let's do something different. Let's try BBC Radio Scotland. Now, because this is... Yeah, I mean, my, my pal, of course, he was in the, in the army, because he's a youngish guy. He, he was also a conspiracy theorist, you know, going out to the Russia or something. <laughs> they were actually going sort of northwest, you know. They were coming from sort of the south, sort of the south west. Yeah. In the well, there you go. That's BBC Radio Scotland live right now. Actually live right now. Um, now, <laughs> this is one of these interesting things. Is you can find these stations, you like go, right, when the Premier League comes back, footy! Yes, you know, for, for those of you who like your uh, soccer. But if you don't like soccer, there's so many other things. I mean, let's have a look. Let's do a search. So let's look for uh, country classics. Country classics, what do we got? So HPR1, traditional classic country, big country 99.5, uh, the ranch. A whole lot of different uh, country radio stations there. Please excuse my, my terrible accents. So, of course, I can go through these different radio stations and find the one I want. There we go. Calm Radio, Country Classics. Give it a tap on the name of it. And now it's trying to find it. Let's hear. And it's from Canada, this particular station. So it's looking to find the station right now. Sometimes some stations take longer to load in than others do just depending on the internet connection at that part of the world as well. Some of them are a lot more responses than others. I'll make believe that's wrong is right. Your wedding day will be tomorrow. But you only just proposed to me 10 minutes ago. 
what the heck? There we go. So there's a bit of country there. I feel like I'm turning into my father. Oh, goodness me. Uh, so that country classics uh, radio station there as well, uh, which is pretty amazing. Um, so you've got those different stations that you can listen to uh, and really enjoy uh, those country stations. Essentially, there's lots and lots of radio stations. Um, but what about our... Uh, 60s. Uh, so sounds of the 60s. Apparently that was there earlier. So sounds of the 60s. Okay, let's have a look. Right. So, oh wow. So there's different uh, podcasts and things, different stations. Uh, I might just say 60s music or 1960s perhaps. Uh, so 60s. So 60s music, I would help if I use the correct uh, apostrophe. There we go, 60s. There we go, positively 60s, positively the best uh, 60s music. ABC 60s, uh, 60s hit music. So let's have a look here, positively 60s. What do we get? Oh. Do you remember Speedy Gonzalez by Pat Boone? Let's see what we get here. Is it going to play it? It's taking its time, but all good things come to those who wait. Oh no, a stream occurred. Well, an error occurred with the stream. Not happy. These things do happen with streaming services. They don't always pick up everything straight away. Sometimes you might have to wait a little bit. Excuse me. It doesn't seem to want to pick up that stream. I'm going to try the browse option. So when I choose browse, I can choose local radio, music, sports, news, talk, podcast, recent, trending, by location or language as well. So if you want, you know, French radio, where you could tap by language and then you could come down. Here we go. We can scroll through and I could go to French. Tap French music. Oh, wow. Lots and lots and lots and lots. So really, there is a huge amount that you can play with in here. Um, you know, here's Champagne FM um, from France. As that loads up. Oh, that was actually rather good. Okay, I will be writing that one down. Um, that's when I needed uh, uh, Shazam just then. I quite like that little track that they were just playing, but that was Champagne FM. Notice how it sounded, even all over the world, commercial radio sounds like commercial radio. So let's move on to a SoundCloud now. If you've got family and friends uh, who are musicians um, or they have artists they like to follow, SoundCloud's a great place to actually put your own music and it's free as well. SoundCloud's pretty quite interesting in, in regards to that. You can go to soundcloud.com uh, on your computer. You can use SoundCloud, the app as well. There is just lots and lots and lots of free stuff in SoundCloud. Here we go. So this is soundcloud.com. Soundcloud.com. So a lot of it is modern and contemporary music, but you can go in and search for artists in here as well. And so, you know, you might put uh, Marianne Faithful, for example, if she's in there. There we go. So Marianne Faithful has music in there as well. So a lot of her music's uh, listened. You've got people are doing their own remixes of things as well, which is actually really quite interesting. It's um, where people have actually got the original track and put their own spin on it. And these are quite nice too. But you've got a whole lot of Marianne Faithful. Here we go. Here we go. There you go. Better of Marianne Faithful there on SoundCloud. There's also podcasts in there as well. 
uh, ABC. Uh, so I can put in ABC and put in lots of different things. Oh, look, there's ABC by the Jackson 5. So lots of music you can find on there. There's the Radio National Podcast, Jackson 5, a whole lot of different stuff in here. Lots and lots and lots of music to find uh, here in SoundCloud. Definitely a great little place. I thought I'd include it today because it's a nice little alternative music pit stop uh, for you to try outside of all the usual ones that people look at. So, everyone, again, any questions on SoundCloud at all? Sorry to ask another question, Matthew, but I'm doing an exercise program and the exercise is on SoundCloud. Can I download those or something to somewhere? Uh, with SoundCloud, you can... Now, with SoundCloud, you can download songs from the website, soundcloud.com, if the song has a little download arrow underneath it. It's not a song. It's the Fast 800 program, mm -hmm. and they Exercise. have exercises. Um, oh, okay. programs for, you know, 10 minutes or something. So yeah, yeah. yeah. So really with something like the Fast 800, what you'd find is if there's a little download link underneath it, it'll let you download it. It's got to have a little download link. For okay. to have it um let me just see if i can find it for you so it's for fast 800 the fast 800 yeah okay the fast 800 here it is the fast 800 i can see it here uh the fast 800 now what you can Go see with these so. this is the the podcast mm -hmm. yeah um so i'm just going to share my screen with you just to show you all everyone just so you can understand what we're seeing here uh, so coming back in to, uh, where is that screen? Bear with me. Sometimes I have so many screens going, I don't know what to do. We don't cover YouTube enough and I love YouTube. I'm a big fan of YouTube. So I'm going to pop you back on uh, mute again, everyone, since we don't have any other questions on SoundCloud. What I'd like to do is, I'm wondering if I can show you the very funny uh, gentleman who's put a song together called Stay the Heck at Home um, <laughs> as well. It's very, very funny. Um, so mm -hmm. I wonder if I can find you that, but I'm going to show you YouTube because when we look at music on YouTube, because you YouTube have their own music. So bear with me. You're all going back on mute again. I'm sorry, everyone. I'll see you on the flip side. So let's share our screen now for YouTube. So uh, here comes YouTube here. Now, of course, lots of things with YouTube. You know how YouTube works, everyone. I think most of us are well and truly across the deal with YouTube. But with YouTube as well, a couple of things that a lot of people don't realise is there's the, all this music that you can uh, go and use with YouTube. We'll try that again. There we go. So, uh, say, for example, I want to look up an artist or I may want to find out a little bit more. Now, first of all, I can scroll down this left-hand side and look at the more from YouTube, and that's all very good. But I want to come in and actually have a look for some music. These boots were made for walking. There we go. These boots were made for walking. So, here we go. Oh, look, there's the original video clip with Nancy. Don't you, don't you love that? Isn't that fantastic? Nancy, Nancy Sinatra, these boots are made for walking. Now, you've also got all of these different cover versions as well, which is pretty amazing. So here's all these different covers, songs that are related to the search. If I click on Nancy Sinatra, these boots are make a walk, made for walking. I can see it. Now, wow, check this out, everyone. It's had 141 million views since it was up to 10 years ago, 141 million times. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Now, I've noticed there's a three dots. Three dots, it's a menu. What do I get? I can add it to a queue, so I can add it to songs that I'm playing next. I can add it to my watch later, so I can come back and at a later time and watch it any time I like. Or I can pop it into a playlist of my own and start to make playlists of music on YouTube. So I can have music going, say, on YouTube, have it going to the TV, my computer or whatever, and have my own playlist. So I'm going to add it to a playlist. I'm going to create a new playlist here. And I'm going to play, I'm going to call it music for fun. 
There we go. And I'm going to make it a public playlist as well. So anyone who might see my YouTube account could just come along and listen to those songs in, you know, in concert with me. So I click create. I've now got a playlist and it's created it. If I have a look at the song here, I give it a click. Ding, ding. Now, there's so much you can look up here. You know, there's Bang Bang by Nancy. Those of you who watched Kill Bill, you'll know Bang Bang, My Baby Shot Me Down. So there's so much in here on YouTube you can look up. You know, I could come into my account and I could look at my playlist if I want. I could come down now and I can look at your videos, watch later. My Music for Fun playlist has just appeared just down the left-hand side. I've clicked the three lines at the top here. Come down to Music for Fun. And there's one song in Music for Fun. So I could go and add more music into YouTube. We could be here all day. You know, for example, I could put in Bert Bacharach for a giggle. I know I keep coming to Bert. There we are, so much Bert. There's even mixes and playlists of his songs and songs of his that other people have done as well. So heaps and heaps of music in YouTube. I mean, there is just masses and masses of music there in YouTube. iHeartRadio.com. Now, it's another service like uh, Spotify. So again, you can see with iHeartRadio, um, it looks a lot like most other uh, radio stations and things that you'll see out there. It's got options for live radio podcasts and news, which is all very well, which is great. Um, got lots and lots of different things there. As you go in, you can come in and choose the live radio podcast or news, library, live radio, all sorts of different things. I've got a live radio. It can now, like, uh, like uh, tune in. It lets you go in and choose local radio stations. And you can go in and listen to all of those stations as well. Um, your library, you can create an account with it. It's got uh, podcasts, all sorts of different things in here. I mean, there really is just heaps. Um, of course, with iHeartRadio, the more you want to listen to, you are probably, well, you will actually have to take up an account with them. Um, but otherwise, they're pretty amazing. They're, they've really taken off over the last uh, several years. And they're sort of like the premier internet radio website. They're like, you know, they really do so much. It's just absolutely incredible. Um, so podcasts here in the middle, and I can find lots of podcasts and I, and I can go and search for them. All the podcasts that you listen to on other places, you can find there as well. Heaps and heaps and heaps on iHeartRadio. Let's talk a little bit now about um, listening options for headphones. So first of all, a couple of different headphones that I use. So you can see here, these are my Beats. These are the, called the Studio 3 Pro Wireless, Studio 3 Wireless headphones. So they're completely wireless. They have no sound, um, no need for a cord, although I can plug a cord in if I like. They recharge through the little recharging point and I can just pop them on. Now I'm just gonna pop you back on mute again. We've still got some noise coming through from somewhere in the background there. Okay, so uh, there we go. So with these particular headphones, back them on, bang. These will automatically pair up to your smartphone. So they should automatically pair up. They have noise cancelling, ANC, active noise cancelling. It means that it blocks out the world around you and you only hear the music. So essentially it's got micro, well, it's not essentially, it actually does. It's got microphones in the bottom of the, the cups here. Those microphones listen for the world around you and then what it does is it actually then flattens that out. So it actually removes it from what you're hearing. And so it flattens the waveform and you end up with beautiful noise cancelling music, nice big thick cushy cups on the headphones themselves. So they're quite cushy, which makes them really, really soft. However, these little babies are expensive. Guess how much? $420. 
Yes, I've just saw your reactions there at the price. They're $420. They're really fantastic. They're worth it if you really want a great pair for the long term that are wireless. So, you know, if you like your wireless headphones, I can go walking in them, but I usually don't like to because you end up with sweaty ears. And no one wants sweaty ears. That's not a good look. So these are the Beats Studio 3 wireless headphones. On the converse of that, I have a pair of Sennheiser headphones, uh, headphones by Sennheiser, the S for Sennheiser. They make really great little headphones. These are about $130. Standard headphone jack, really great sound. These are quite neutral. They don't do heavy bass. They tend to have very neutral sounds, so you can hear all of the different sounds, so the bass doesn't overdo the treble and so on. I use these as my headphones for production. So when I actually work and make radio and music and so on, these are the headphones I use for production because they, they're nice and neutral sound. So they're very good. Um, Sennheiser make really great quality headphones at very good prices. If you're wanting a really good pair of over the ear headphones, if you've got about $100 or so, get a pair of Sennheisers. I really do recommend them. They're absolutely fantastic. Next cab off the rank, your good old standard iPhone or uh, standard smartphone headphones. These are great. They're, they're, they're good. The one of the reasons these headphones come out of your ears, everyone, is because the cable itself, when you're walking and the cable juts, and as you're moving, eventually the cable comes out. It's the actual, the, the cable itself that makes these things fall out of your ears. Okay, again, these are the Apple ones. Most of these type of headphones you can get for around $30, $40, $50. Sounds pretty good, you know, very basic sort of neutral sound, but not anything too special. Then you come to AirPods or the wireless AirPod headphones. Now, these are the AirPod Pros. Uh, thank you so much to a certain beautiful person uh, who um, had um, bought me this, you know who you are, um, and they bought me these ones. So these come in a little, a little uh, charging case. Take them out. You can see here that they're quite small. There we go. They've got a little ear point there, a little ear plug. There we go. And on the back, there's a little part there for sound to come through. Pop them in. It's like that. And they block out all the noise. They're instantly noise cancelling anyway, but they also has a noise cancelling function. Bass is really good on them as well. They're completely wireless. So I can pop them in like that. Boom. Yay. Wireless sound. Fantastic. Great for running and jogging because they don't come out of your head. You know, there we go. They're not coming out. So, you know, they're really good like that. I'm a big fan of these. Again, though, these are expensive, $400 a pair. So if you lose them, they're a very expensive little loss, which is why the case comes with them because the case can charge them up. So while I love these, I treat them like my little golden earbuds because they are really quite expensive. Finally, for speakers, you can see here a little JBL Flip 4. This is a wireless speaker. I've got a little button on the back that I can turn it on with. There we go. And now that's on. And then I can send songs wirelessly uh, to that little speaker from my smartphone, uh, which is pretty cool. These have got some great sound on them as well. For a tiny little speaker, they can really pop the sound out too. That's not bad for a little tiny speaker. Um, so uh, I think around $100 for these. You can get lots of really good wireless speakers. For God's sakes, don't buy the old cheapos under 50 bucks. Just don't. I'll tell you why. Is that the sound on them is often really tinny. The bass isn't very good as well. Uh, you can use your headphones as the microphone as well for Zoom too. 
um, if you ever want to do that, you can go into the, the microphone settings on the bottom left corner and plug, and uh, once you've got your headphones paired to your computer, you can use them that way as well. Um, they're really great little he uh, headphones. Uh, speakers too, like these, $100 for little ones like this, going up to around three, $400 for the higher end speakers from Sonos. Um, also the Apple ones as well. Next week is podcasts uh, as well. Um, so there's podcast workshops coming up. Um, there is just so many more workshops coming up. Check the newsletter out. Burundara Libraries. Uh, have a look on the Burundara Libraries workshop. There's uh, workshops coming through them as well online that you can do. So definitely have a look. They'll send you a link on email. Come and join us for those workshops too. And also if you'd like a one-on-one -on -one training session, give us a call, 94342020 have a chat with Lisa or Cody and one of our trainers can work with you on a remote session. They can even share your screen on your computer if you need some help that way too. There's lots of ways we can do it. In the meantime, everyone, oh, deep breath. Thank you so much for being along today. It has been an absolute pleasure having you all. Please take good care of yourselves. I'll end the meeting now. This should start a video recording sorted out, so I'll get that up on YouTube for you. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, stay inside, unless you need to go out and do what you gotta do. Keep washing those hands. <laughs> Keep your hand sanitizer handy like I do. I've got mine, mine there. And uh, keep well, because I'd missed you terribly if you weren't with us. Take care, everyone. See you Thanks, next man. time. Yeah. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.